Morning, everybody. Here I am at the range in Carmarthen. I'm hoping this will work and that I won't get too disturbed. We've got music playing and we've got announcements on. So, you know, you'll have to bear with me. And if I get accosted by the staff to say that I'm not really supposed to be filming, I might be switched off. So just be aware of that. You might have to turn your volume up a bit because I'm going to talk quite quietly so I don't disturb people, okay? But we're just going to have a quick walk around just to see what is on offer here in the store. Most of you have um, a range supermarket in your town. Seeing as we've lost a lot of shops lately, um, independent art shops, which is a real shame. Our closest one is in uh, Swansea. So, you know, we're very limited with the range that we have. So the range itself is actually coming quite useful with regard to um, accessing art materials. And a lot of you have said that um, when you go to these shops that you don't really know what you're looking at. So I thought I'd just walk you through, walk you around a few of my favorite products and see how we get on. Send me a wave if you're watching, um, leave me some comments and then we can just sort of chat as we go around. I'm going to put the phone on uh, reverse so that we can see the products and not just my face. <laughs> All right, so walk with me round the range. Okay, so let's, where do we start? So over here, we have a range of um, student grade or what they call graduate acrylic. And these are very cheap, they're £2.95 a tube, and there's a really large range of colours here, you can see. So you've got a good choice. These are a basic range, they're very good. Um, I've used them before and a lot of my students use them. But um, when it comes to colour mixing, you might find that some of the colours don't mix extremely well because the cheaper the colour, there tends to be more black in them. So take that into consideration when you're buying paint. Um, but these are a bargain, £2.95. So, you know, you can pick up a good, and because they've got a good range, I mean, they've got indigo here, uh, cobalt blue, cerulean blue, primary blue, and ultramarine, which is one of the blues that we use the most of in class. If you're taking part in the masterclass on Monday we will be using um, a lot of yellows um, so because we're, we're going to be painting sunflowers and you can see here that they've got a great range you've got gold imit which I've never heard of before but um, you know they bring out new colors all the time you've got yellow ochre you've got Naples yellow which is a, a great color we use that a lot um, you've got cadmium yellow hue here I'm trying not to touch the products too much because of obviously of the COVID. Um, you know, we, you shouldn't really be picking things up and putting them down again. So I'm not going to touch them too much. We've got primary yellow, cadmium yellow deep and buff titanium. So now the difference between cadmium yellow hue and cadmium yellow deep is just purely the fact that there's more um, yellow pigment in the yellow deep. Whereas in the yellow hue, there'll be less pigment, less yellow pigment. Okay, that's all the hue means. So if you see a hue written on, I'm trying to see. Oh, yes, there you go. There's another one. Cadmium hue. Okay, so that just means there's less pigment in that um, pot. And also, it, you regularly get it when paints are cheap. So the cheaper the paint, the less pigment will be in the paint. Um, so, and that's what makes it cheaper, obviously. All right, so the, the more recognized brands like Dale & Rowney and Winsor & Newton, they tend to have more pigment in their tubes and therefore are a bit more expensive. But obviously the more pigment you've got, the better the quality paint, okay? So we've got an Aquafine um, watercolor set here, which is a um, 14.95. Um, if you want to buy yourself a, um, a watercolour set, this is probably something that you could go for. It's a travel set, 
So it has a little pallet in the front, as well as um, several. We've got, what, 20 colours there. So there's a good range there. Okay, if you're looking for larger tubes, um, if you do bigger paintings, like I buy these range of paints, these graduate um, large, it's, um, how, how big are they? Five, five, yeah, 500 mil. Um, it's much better because especially with acrylic if we uh, are doing large paintings we tend to use a lot of white acrylic so buying a larger tube obviously um, is, is a reduction in price so the paints you use the most of buy the bigger tubes uh, and then you can decant them into smaller pots if you've got little pots at home like the camera pots that I keep talking about, about. Um, but that's a really good idea. Don't go buying yourself little teeny tiny uh, tubes of acrylic paint because there's no point. Um, you can get bargain sets at times. So down here we've got a set of acrylic uh, paints here, um, £30. So that's not a bad uh, price. Um, so now, so like I said, if you fancy doing uh, cheap paints, then this is a good range to buy. Um, now, so as I said, we've got different um, sets of acrylic here. Um, this, this is five pounds, so actually, because you're getting sm 12 small tubes, it's quite a bargain at five pounds. Individually, each tube, you'd pay about three to four pounds. So you've got 12 tubes there, so you can work it out. It's much cheaper to buy um, en masse. However, what happens when you buy en masse is that you get tubes that you don't necessarily want. Um, but as a starter, this is a sort of set that you might want to buy yourself. Um, but again, think about the size, that's acrylic. You will go through your white acrylic really quickly. So it might be that you buy yourself a cheap set like this for, for mixing colors, and then you, get your, you invest in a couple of larger tubes um, for things like whites. We go through um, white acrylic a lot. Um, we do Payne's Grey a lot. Payne's Grey is a great colour, especially for skies and things like that. We go through a lot of yellow and a lot of blue. Um, so they're always uh, paints to buy. Also, even though they haven't got it here, you can see here the, the cadmium orange is out of, uh, out of stock at the moment. Um, I recommend you buy certain colours. So orange is one because it's quite difficult to mix a really good orange. Purple or violet, we've got violet right at the back there. It's very popular, obviously. There's, there's only one tube left. Um, sap green, that's a really good colour that we use a lot of. Okay, um, so you've got the same set here for five pounds in oil. And you've got the same set for five pounds. I mean, these are complete bargains. Five pounds for 12 tubes. And I can't see that they've got one in watercolor, but maybe the watercolors are elsewhere. You've got smaller sets as well. If you don't want to buy 12 um, tubes, then you've got smaller sets there. Um, but 24 tubes there for 10 pounds, absolute bargain. I have a few of these watercolour pocket sets. I carry those around all the time, really useful. They come with a built-in palette and um, paintbrush. So really useful to carry around with you. Okay, there's some easels and things like that there. This is a t these are table, what they call tabletop easels. So you would need a table to put them on. Um, I'm gonna talk about brushes in a minute because there's a big set of brushes around here. These are really good. Um, these are carry bags for art materials and this one here has got um, a pulley a pulley system on it so it's like a, it works like a suitcase um, it's 40 pounds but still it looks like a good one um, we've got these organized organized sets here as well which are really good because you can keep paints in these so you might have some paints that you've bought in large tubes that you don't want to carry around with you and you can decant them into these little portable they're called itty bitty organizers here um, sealed boxes you know any sealed boxes uh, is a good buy these are great so these would 
uh, be ideal for using if you had big pots like we had before these ones then you could decant them into smaller pots save yourself some money um, they're airtight so they'll last for a long time okay right so across here right so we've got drawing inks these are great um, especially if you want some stronger colors in uh, when you're using watercolors you can get liquid watercolor now as well as everything else um, we've got lots of range of markers down here but we're going to have loads to look at in a minute I just want to show our oh, watercolor brush packs these are really great um, it doesn't say how much they are they might be sort of 1.99 or 2.99 these are brilliant because they've got um, a variety of tips on them and what you do is you mix up um, a pot of watercolor and then you decant it into this plastic area here and then you use the brush as, a, uh, as almost like a pen so what that stops you from having to do is to constantly be mixing paint and um, adding water and things like that so they're real they're really good to have um, a good set of drawing pens they're brilliant 12 for 9.99 that's a bargain okay but you can buy drawing pens individually so these are great because they come in a variety of colors so this one is a uni pen fine liner i don't know whether you can see that let me see uni pen fine liner they're good quality 1.99 each again you can buy these in sets like this um, which work out cheaper there's a nice set there look um, seven pounds and they are a, a variety of light greys and dark greys and blacks so that's good uh, nice fine nib on them so that you can do precision marking um, these are great pencils I buy these all the time these Stadler pencils um, buy yourself a, a whole load of 2B pencils you'll need those for drawing um, they're the best ones for drawing both with watercolour and just sketching 2B they're 75 pence each um, and then there's a range of charcoal pencils here again it's much better if you can buy them individually so you can pull out the ones you want um, if you buy a set um, say there like that you end up with a whole load of um, like here you've got 2H, 3H, 4H you, you never use them you know so what, what are you going to do with them you, you have to either give them away or chuck them away or whatever um, so actually in the long term if you know that you're going to be using pencils regularly it's better to buy individual pencils um, but saying that this set is only 4 99 and it comes with a range of pencils including um, a graphite pencil which is just solid lead um, several rubbers and a couple of Conti um, pastels so that's a bargain too uh, what else have we got sharpeners um, sets pockets to keep your pencils in because obviously notoriously they break all the time so it's good to have a, a, a pack a, pa a pencil case or a pad to keep your pencils in um, these are charcoal pencils much more convenient way of carrying charcoal uh, rather than putting it in your, in your bag because it smashes really easily um, these are graphite sticks they are again just solid lead or graphite don't know if you can see those they're really good as well um, we've got a set here of charcoal pencils with some Conti graphite uh, pieces here and also a blender these are blenders these are just so that if you don't want to use your finger to to blend your charcoal you can use this instead rubber pencil that's quite good nice set of um, Derwent color soft skin tone pencils there that's quite nice 5 99 um, it's nice that they're bringing out these ranges of colors so you don't have to worry those are those blending sticks again you can actually make these at home just by rolling paper up um, but these are quite solid little ones and you can pick them up quite cheaply these days I mean they're one pound those ones in there which is a great great bargain okay what else have we got here um, you can buy sets of multiple sets of things in in the range so this is a set for um, acrylic painting I think yes um, so you've got an acrylic pad here 
a palette and some brushes. So that's quite good. And a carry case. Um, and at the moment, they're actually only £15. So that's quite a bargain as well. We've got lots of storage um, sets here. Carry cases, folios for carrying your work in, uh, which are really useful. These are um, canvas boards, range of sizes. The only thing, this is just canvas stretched over a uh, cardboard. Um, but the only thing with these is that you do have to frame them. So just be aware of those, but they are cheap and they're really convenient to use. Pens now, pens. I love pens, as you know. They've got Posca pens in here now. Amazing. These are my favorite. They're £2.50, they're wonderful. Um, you've got a bargain set here as well, although it doesn't say how much it is, but I reckon it would be about 15 quid, I imagine. But just be aware of the nibs on the, uh, the pens. Um, the ones here are quite thick. The, it says what size they are, the nibs. Um, but you know, you go down to the thinner ones and we use a lot of the thinner nibbed ones for, especially white, for watercolor, for painting over watercolors. You can get lots of different watercolor pens. There's so many to choose from, but really it's just a matter of you working out what you need and you know, things like that. So have a look around. Um, sets of palettes. I just use plates and things at home, but if you want to buy yourself a set of palettes, they're very cheap. Um, try and buy a nice strong one so you don't have to throw it away. They've got these Art Sensation brush markers. Um, they're really good. Um, we've got lots of sponges. We use sponges for watercolor in here. If you can get ones that are environmentally friendly, not ones that have been taken out of the sea, that's better. We've got loads and loads of choices of brushes. So you've got packs of brushes and you've got individual brushes like the pencils. The thing with these is a lot of them, well, a lot of the ones in here are, have got this soft grip on. Um, I don't know whether you can see that. I don't really go for those because they make you hold your brush in a particular way go for the ones that don't have a grip on so this one this graduate one here is really good it's a size 10 round brush the prices generally appear on a, on a, a, a sign but they don't have the sign here unfortunately but they come in all different shapes and sizes they will tell you on the brush whether they're for watercolor acrylic or, or oil but there's some beautiful ones here and you may like these round ones the ones with the grip on them um, but really it's down to you again whether you want to buy them so when we come to sets I recommend that you don't buy um, a set that has acrylic and oil and watercolor on it right because that gives you the impression that you can use these brushes for all three of those things now you can do that you can buy this pack and you can use it for watercolor acrylic and tempera but if you use your brushes for acrylic painting and then you try and use the same brushes for watercolour, you'll find that the, the bristles are a bit clogged and not useful. So I recommend you buy specific uh, brushes. Now, if you look at all of these brush sets here, they, in the main, will recommend that you can use them for everything. But like I said, if you buy them, just buy them and then use them for a specific um, medium so either use them for watercolor or acrylic or oil but not all three okay if you're really rigorous at cleaning your brushes then you can get away with that but if you're not you'll find that the ferrule collects down in the middle the the ferrule is the metal um, bit on the paintbrush this bit here and what happens with, especially with acrylic and oil, is that the paint will collect in this in this area here. Uh, and then when you come to use it for watercolour, it will stream down into your watercolour, which is not good. Okay, so just be careful of that. There's another pack of uh, pens there, watercolour. And now, I think I'm going to run out of uh, battery soon. So I'm just, what else did I see? Oh, you've got gesso in here for priming your canvas. I just use acrylic paint mixed with PVA 
that's a tip so rather than spending 9.95 you can do that instead there's some very good basic acrylic sets here and they've also got this painting medium now this is the big fashion at the moment pouring paint so this is a medium that you add to your acrylic to make it pourable and they've got it in here um, it's quite expensive as you can see it's 9.99 for that size which is um, 237 mil and uh, God knows how much that that, or that one is. It's probably 20, 25 quid. Um, so it's an expensive product, but if you fancy having a go at painting, um, using pouring painting, then have a go with that. Big, huge, um, complete art studio sets. Again, you know, they're quite reasonable and you get a lot in them. So buying sets is, is you know, that acrylic set there, 25 pieces is 9.99 you know so just have a look around uh, i'm trying to see or oh, palette knives um you know you need a lot of paint to paint with palette knives so a lot of people don't do it um, but i will be doing a demonstration in one of my master classes soon for how to use a palette knife okay so along this aisle here we've got a whole range of uh, canvases so and they at the moment they're on offer and we've got some stretched canvases here 25 pounds three packs that's an absolute bargain so you know if you can buy in bulk again that is a really good idea um, again they come in different ranges so that's a day of the roundy they they do a professional range and a student range um, so, you know, you'll see as you go down the aisle that these become cheaper. Um, and then as you go up the aisle, you've got your Windsor and Newton um, canvases. Again, check for bargains and bargain packs. Um, you've got two types of canvases. You've got square box canvases. Um, this just means that you can paint around the outside. I use these all the time. And um, it, you don't have to frame them, with, which is a great thing as opposed to the, the the sort of normal depth canvases like this okay um what else have we got so as we go oh we've got paints to talk about so yeah as we go up here again they've got really good priced canvases in here um, they've got some so these are four pounds for two 3d stretched canvases so that they're a really good price um, but like I said go for the packs I mean this three pack here is a bargain I mean that's huge that's a huge canvas and you've got three there for 35 quid absolute bargain okay I'm just gonna walk around here because I don't want to film the staff working um, if I run out of battery just um, don't worry um, so we've got, as well as everything else, I mean, we've got a whole range of um, stationery, um, crafting materials, there's all sorts here. It's a, such a good shop. Um, down there you've got your sketchbooks. Along here we've got brushes again. And then you've got oils. Oil paints again you've got different ranges you've got student ranges and then you've got the more quality ranges different sizes uh, Windsor and Newton watercolors uh, down here you've got now this is one thing that people get mixed up about masking fluid these turn up a lot in my classes permanent masking fluid right this doesn't come off don't buy it this this is the one that you want either the colorless art masking fluid or this masking fluid here okay make sure you buy the one that comes off that rubs off if you're a watercolor painter you'll know what that means but if you're not and you're starting you need to buy yourself um, a, a, tu a, a tube of masking fluid but not the, not the one that says permanent okay there's other textured mediums there as well um, you can buy individual pans they're hiding they're hiding we can't see them there individual replaceable pans for your watercolor sets in here they are 4.99 to 6.99 but they're Windsor and Newton so they're really good quality watercolor markers 
small tubes uh, again 10% off Cotman good good brand um, so a bargain get yourself a Payne's grey if you haven't got one we use that all the time um, you've got your gloss mediums your varnishes all that sort of stuff and then you're into your acrylics and you've got your student range and your professional range the student range was around at the beginning but again they're all 10% off in here at the moment so that's really good isn't it and then you've got your papers and your cards um, sometimes you can buy board yeah so we've got Windsor Newton colour mount board here and you can actually paint onto that if you want to um, it's quite cheap because this is A1 if you cut it up you get like six A4 sized boards out of this and you can paint on them onto them they're, they're sort of thick enough to take paint um, as far as I know they don't stock paint board in here as um, last time I looked they didn't have it so if you wanted a watercolour board or acrylic board then you would have to go to an art shop or buy online okay but pretty much they've got everything you need especially as a beginner in this shop so just come along have a look around they've got knives they've got rulers everything that you need scissors and not just for painting so i hope that's been helpful um and i'll leave it there you know Come along to the range it's open seven days a week and just have a browse the staff are very helpful um, they do know a little bit about art materials and what's on offer here so they can help probably not as much as uh, a professional in a an art shop would um, but it's easier than buying online because um, you're not completely on your own uh, mod podge this is for actually this is a, a good thing this is what you use for um, doing uh, putting uh, pictures onto paintings and things like that and onto tiles for special sort of PVA paint okay so don't forget to like and subscribe come and have a look at the range if you've got any questions about specific art materials then please you know ask me and enjoy treat yourself to something nice and I will see you um, on Monday. If you've joined my masterclass uh, membership, then that starts on Monday. We're gonna be painting some sunflowers on the Gower. Um, for that, you need a lot of yellow acrylic, um, some acrylic paint brushes and some canvas. All right, like and subscribe. Go and have a look at my, um, my YouTube, my free YouTube channel. Um, and if, if you want to become a member, just get in touch. All right, bye for now. Um, I hope you have a lovely bank holiday weekend and I will look forward to seeing you on Monday. Bye.